Welcome back. On the previous video, we created a live stream with FFmpeg, and I had mentioned the using the sleep command to get it so that the stream doesn't start immediately when you run the bash script that we created. I wasn't very clear on that. What it is, is once you run bash and then whatever the script is, it starts streaming, and if you're recording the X11 grab, it's going to display what you're showing on your screen, unless you're doing this somehow remotely or on a screen that isn't being displayed. So that was what I was trying to emphasize. I don't think I got it uh, through correctly. But I wanted to show another way of getting around that. And that would be to have some type of introductory video showing before your live stream starts. So you can have a countdown, an introduction to what you're doing, or something like that. So what we're going to do here is uh, take a look at this script I created. And again, I've sanitized this script so it's not going to actually run because I don't want to have to keep changing my stream key. Same stuff the, as the previous video. If you haven't uh, seen it, I will put a link for that in the description. So you have the stream key. You have the display numbers. You have that input frame rate. You have the output resolution, which is the output resolution of this machine. And I've worked with uh, playing around with it couple different output resolutions the output frame rate and here's where I put the uh, that sleep command in previous versions but I'll show you how to get around that so we're running ffmpeg we're running the dot re option and the dot probe size flag so the first thing we're going to do is we're inputting a file that's an mp4 format and that file is countdown.mp4. I've played around just making some quick ones. This is a one minute countdown. And I've also made a 10 second countdown while I was doing some tests on YouTube. So then after it completes that, the next uh, input is going to have a format of the X11 grab. And that video size, the output resolution, which is the output of the X11, not the output of the stream the input is the display number and the screen number and the audio is uh, ALSA with the plug HW1 I mentioned I was changing the format in the last video from FLV I'm running into some issues with using different formats but I am using the lib x264 the h.264 Kodak the filtering and the map. So what is happening here is we have three different inputs. We have the video file, which has both audio and video. We have this X11 grab, which has only video. And then we have the plug HW1, which is only audio. So over here, you have using the filter complex. So I had to remove the uh, audio filter that I was using previously. The I'm still going to have an issue with the audio filter, but how does make a compromise to do this? So you have the first input, which is zero, is also going to be video zero and audio zero. The next input, which is going to be one, is going to just be a video. And input three is just going to be audio. And then we use the concat, and we have two individual segments which are going to be video 1 and audio 1, which will get mapped as V and A. And then we put down here with map V and A. And this is going to the local host slash stream, which we did before using netcat. This is the normal uh, string that we would be using. And then these are all other filters I was testing out. I just commented that out. Let's go ahead and look how this loads. And we're going to try something uh, different also. First things first, we're going to run that netcat command. You don't need to worry about that. That's just for me to show how this works. And then we're going to run the bash script. Over here, you're going to see that it is now streaming the H.264 file codec. And it's trying to send that countdown MP4. So we'll close this out. Yeah, didn't get a handshake response. But let's make a uh, quick change to that file. And let's output it instead of going to a stream. Let's just throw it to 
test out one dot FLV. Let's throw it to an actual file and see what happens. Over here, it's trying to, or it's taking the input from the first file and it's generating the FLV file. <laughs> Okay, and then you saw it all of a sudden switch over and it went to use the X11 grab. So it went from the first file to the uh, next input stream. And we're going to go ahead and just quit it now. And it's given some basic information about when it's uh, quitting. Let's take a quick look at what that file looks like. Yeah, as you can see, it's doing the countdown from the that I uh, had there and I, in a future video I'll show how that's done with uh, Shotgun. It's fairly straightforward and we can play around do some other things and make it less generic and we'll go ahead and speed that up. <laughs> So this is where it went to screen grab and it's basically what you were just watching before it's the it's going through and just processing through and we didn't leave it there that long so we're gonna go ahead and quit so this is where we showed we can take a video from the beginning and then add a, something else to a, afterwards so it could be the screen grab it could be a webcam it could be connection to a game console. So you maybe in that intro video, you could talk about what game you're playing or something to that effect. Or you can work it so it does multiple things. And that's where it's going to get a little bit more complicated. And that's where it's going to actually get a little hokey. So what you would end up doing is running one script, terminating the script, and then loading another script before YouTube times out. It's not really the correct way to do it, but we're just playing around seeing what is possible. So we'll go ahead and work on that on the next video. We'll go ahead and show how we can go from a uh, static video, like the countdown video, and go into uh, an input device. Will either be a HDMI input device, a RCA input device, or a webcam. I'm not uh, sure yet how we'll uh, play around with that, but all three should work very similarly. Once that video's up, it'll show up on your screen along with uh, this playlist. And until then, it'll be the video that YouTube thinks that you should watch next. Thank you for watching this one, and you have a great day.